Hello everybody, Blueberry Piper here, and we are playing some Super Auto Pets. This is played uh, Arena on Expansion Pack, and let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, we're picking up a fish and mosquito, both good animals, and we rolled to try and find some repeated animals like another fish or another mosquito, but we didn't find it, so we're gonna pick up a Bluebird Nasty Fanboys. So let's go. Yeah, um... Blueberry is sometimes a little bit hard to use, and it's going to give us a lot of draws. But yeah, we're gonna try and buff our mosquito here, I think, maybe? Either I use this apple now, or I just roll three times for our repeats. But I'm okay with just buffing it, because I'm probably going to be keeping this mosquito all the way till the late game, so yeah. This should be okay. Alright, it's still a draw, sure, because all of our strength was uh, concentrated at the back there. Um, yep, gotta combine the bluebird. Like, having more buffing uh, could be nice due to the bluebirds being separated, but I think it's better to combine them for the tier upgrade here. <laughs> and we got the owl. It's a pretty good unit, but probably not the best. We might have been able to just keep it for one more round, too. I don't know, but then we, you know, will end up buying other animals that we might not want the uh, owl buff to land on, so yeah. I might have sold that owl too early, yeah. It's not that big of a deal, I think. The plus two plus two did land on our mosquito, so that's pretty good. Okay, we take another draw. <laughs> it's turn four, we have no wins, no losses. Alright, this game is going places. It went places. It went far, alright. Uh, I think I made the decision that the fish is not long for this world. It shouldn't stay too long. Alright, since we found a lot of bluebirds, we can maybe try and go for level 3. I don't think that's such a bad idea. Especially since we got a swan. Swan's main weakness is that it has no attack, right? Um, the effect of the swan is great, but... It having no attack at all is kind of bad, so a bluebird is a good fit for it. Alright, we're gonna pick up the hatching chick, which is always good. Bison could be considered because we already have a um, bluebird that's just one away from being level 3. But what would I buy though? I mean, what would I sell though to fit the bison in here? Or maybe I just give up. Yeah, okay, sure. I give up on the blue but I sorry, I give up on the hatching chick. Um, and I'm gonna freeze a pill. Yeah. Turtle is also very good for a team that has Bluebird. Okay, but we're gonna lose this one. Not a huge surprise there. Okay. Nice. So the we know the pill's coming in. Then we know the snail's coming in. Um, yep. Yeah. Then the upgrade. I could have waited until next turn to upgrade on turn 7 instead, but I think it's more important to start buffing the bison early, so this is what we did, this is what we're going to do. Um, yep, and then we're just going to be buffing. Buffing the bison, buffing the swan. Yeah, and having an early uh, caterpillar is good too. If you remember, we got that caterpillar on turn 4, I think, which is one earlier than when we can get it normally, so that's really good for us. Uh, we're gonna buy another caterpillar too, to speed up the process, I think. Uh, and a caterpillar is good when you have bison on your team, for sure. Because, like, you can... This means we can sell our bluebird whenever we want, right? Alright. So, we're kind of considering maybe getting rid of the bluebird next. Maybe? Not 100%, but maybe, so that's why we're buffing the uh, Mosquito, which has almost no chance of being sold. Uh, one, because it's strong, and two, because it already has uh, Melon Armor, so yeah. Yeah, but this is tough. We're gonna lose three in a row here on turn eight with one win, so... <laughs> in order to stand a chance of winning, like, we would need to go to round 17 at least. So yeah, we're in it for the long haul here. And I don't know if this team is the team to bring us there. But a Poodle could be, you know, could be our ticket there. Turn 8 Poodle is pretty good. And we have a Bison. 
and our caterpillar is actually um, activated now. So, yeah, I think this team has the potential to get us there, but we just need a little bit of luck. And you know what? I feel like this team had been pretty strong this entire game. It's just that we somehow ran up against teams that were much stronger. But I think this turn is, is when we start to turn it around, turn everything around. That's good. Alright, I know the money is important from the swan, but I think uh, we really need to rush uh, leveling up the poodle. Put a rush order in for us. Okay, we can maybe get a bison to level 3, but it's probably not as important as just getting the poodle to level 2. And the poodle is really good right now. It's basically like a penguin. Because all of our units are of a different tier. So yeah, it's basically a penguin right now. And we know how good penguins are. Alright, pretty straightforward turn. Actually not that straightforward because we actually have to make the decision to not buy the bison there. But that's okay. Alright, we got some... Uh, sorry. We got some turtles. But we decided not to take them because I think the swan is way too important for us right now. <clears throat> we need to play a little bit more aggressive. To try and make it to the late game. All right, a little close, but not that close. We're making it. We're making it. Continuing to buff our poodle. Nice. Find a metal armor for our bison. That's huge. Nice. <clears throat> All right. Turn. This is extremely powerful for turn eleven. I think. <clears throat> the hard part is making it to like turn fifteen, sixteen, and onwards. That's gonna be when it really gets hard, but. Um, for turn 11, we're fine. Turn 11 teams aren't usually that strong. I know this is expansion pack, so um, the scaling is going to be a bit more dramatic than standard, but still, usually people aren't that strong on turn 11. Unless you have a really strong bison like us. But we not only have a really strong bison, but we have a um, caterpillar that copies the bison stats, and we have two decently strong animals with decently high attack, with melon armor no less, so yeah. <clears throat> am I gonna do it? Am I gonna buy a scorpion? Yeah, I am. Because here's my thinking. Um, at this point, uh, my team is basically full built. All I need to do is survive, right? Like, I'm not gonna sell my mosquito because it's so good against melon armor. I'm not gonna sell my Pudo because it's so good uh, at scaling. I'm not gonna sell my Bison because of course I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna sell my Caterpillar, so why can I sell the Swan? And because I'm not selling anything, I don't need that much money, right? So I'm gonna sell the Swan to buy something else. Uh, maybe a Scorpion permanently, maybe not. Um, <clears throat> either way, we can put a Mushroom on it. Yeah, we don't need money at the moment. <clears throat> we just need to be the strongest we can be. And we do that by getting a scorpion and putting a mushroom on it and not running a swan. So yeah, I think that was the right choice. Okay, we're not buffing the scorpion because it's a tier five, just like the poodle, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. Nice, surviving with one health there is pretty nice for our uh, bison, but eh, at the end of the day, it's not required. All right. Now we're just going to use all our money to buy food on the scorpion just so that it has a better chance of surviving because we don't really want to run up against like a, you know, like a maybe maybe a turtle with two attack up front and have the scorpion die to it. That would be such a shame. So yeah, <clears throat> the best improvement for us is actually just to buff the scorpion so it can handle small um, Melon cracker enemies by itself. Alright. Oh no, the scorpion, the scorpion's mushroom got killed. But it doesn't matter, we win anyway. Dang. Alright, that's a turn 16 victory. That took us a long time, dude. It took us a long time. But hey, we made it happen. Alright, good stuff. Thank you everyone for watching. I've been Blueberry Piper. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.